Yes, it's all you. Ah. One more. Up, up, up. Two more, two more, nah. two more. Don't stop, don't stop, no, don't no, stop. No, 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 no. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, I have to do it. Two more. Two more. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> What's good, people? Simeon Panda here with Ida. We have been meaning to get this session done for a very long time, right? A very long time. <laughs> like, we've been talking about it just finally today. Everything aligned and we're here. We're going to hit legs. Now, Ida, you've already done legs like twice this week already, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, for uh, three, this is the third in four days time. So, yeah. I mean, I, try, I, I gave her the option of doing back and biceps and I did back yesterday. So I was happy to do it, but she wants to do it. I'm, I'm good to do it. Yeah, because we said we're going to do legs. If we are going to do legs, Let's I'm going to suck it up. I mean, <laughs> I have a plethora of leg equipment, so we're going to have fun. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, so talk to me. So um, legs three times a week. How is it being broken down? Uh, how long have you been doing it? And how are you feeling from it? Uh, so the reason behind me doing legs three times per week is because my lower body is not developing as fast as my upper body. Okay. Uh, and I have had so many injuries that I've been trying different ways to get to a point where it actually doesn't hurt. Injuries where? Upper uh, body or lower? Lower, lower, no, ba okay. uh, lower back, yeah. hips, mm. and hamstring. So I have not been able to really push myself hard when it comes to legs. And also knee. Sorry, I forgot about the knee. Uh, so, <laughs> so, now, the <laughs> so now I've been trying to break it out to do one quad focus one. Okay. And then I do a glute focus one. Okay. And uh, then I do and a, a back in the hamstring. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So one okay. of those leg days are a posterior chain workout and not primarily just a leg day. Okay, so, I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. So... That way, I think I've been training for maybe the past five to six months. Okay. So I'm feeling good. Like, feeling good, yeah. Because what, what happens when I do it so often is that I do no longer push myself to extend that I'm dead. Okay. For that coming Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of just having like one or two where you just go all in. All in, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it feels okay. better. Um, and I'm starting to actually see great exchange in the injuries that I've been having, yeah. that I can control them in different ways. Yeah. So it feels good. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked. So yeah, I, no, I, I, I split it up with two, two sessions a week, uh, hams and quads, you know, mm. and I've uh, been doing that for a while and I, I love it like that. And people find it strange when you have a whole hamstrings day. They're like, you can do a whole, a whole day of hamstrings. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, of course you, you know? can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you definitely. Know, so. My anxiety is the highest when I'm doing quads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hamstrings yeah. for me yeah, too. Uh, no, like... Yeah, hamstrings is like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a nice day. <laughs> yeah. Quads there. Like, yeah, there's some anticipation like... before quads where you're well, like, I don't know why. You know. It, it does hurt. For example, in, in the one of my like worst exercises that I absolutely hate, that I, but I do it frequently, is Bulgarian split squats. Mm -hmm. Now that the anxiety comes with that because I know how painful it's gonna be. Yep. But it's such a great exercise. So. I don't have any exercise that, like that with hamstrings. They're all fun, they all feel great, you know, they, they're all pretty easy to do. Yeah. But Bulgarians, I know. I like... know, man. <laughs> like, Bulgarians is such a hate love exercise mm. or walking lunges. If I'm training with someone and I'm doing walking lunges, I like to do it in uh, like a tag team. I go, you go, I go, you go, yeah. that's your break. Yep. As soon as I come back, like, you I'm go. tagging you and you go, mm -hmm. you know? No, that, that's how I like to do it too. Yeah. So do you do any um, like dynamic stretching before you start? I've no, always... not really. Uh, I like to start on an easier weight yeah. and just like really yeah, yeah. get into yeah. the stretch inside of In the exercise. In the actual exercise, yeah, similar, yeah. I'm similar. But I do like to do like a leg swing or something just before, Yeah. you know. I, what I normally do is like get down so I can really open up my hips, yeah. like something like this, but yeah. I'm, I would say I'm bad at it yeah. to do it as often as I should. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm so like focused on getting into the getting straight into the workout. Yeah. How many years have you been training now? When? 24. 24? Is it 24? Yes. No, 23. 23 years. 23. Yeah. yeah. I'm right behind you, man. <laughs> this is my 20th year. 20th year? Yeah. Jeez! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, man. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So 
tell me, how, how did you get started? Uh, at my neighbor's yard. He's a trucker. He has all these fun stuff. Yeah, like, fun stuff. Uh, logs <laughs> the good and, toys. Yeah, I, and I also noticed when we were renovating our family house that I helped my dad with everything heavy. Yeah. And I was like, shit, I'm strong. <laughs> so I just started to do like strongman lifting. Yeah. Um, and then I found a gym when I was 14, but I wasn't consistent until I was 19. So now I'm 33. So I mean, it's not 20 years of consistent work that will most likely have a look totally different. But, oh, for real. But I mean, like, when you're a teenager, you're trying so many different things out. Oh, big time, yeah. So... Yeah. It's, all, it's all a learning process. Yeah. But now, like, from 19... Yeah. I've been going at it as I'm doing now. Like, okay. Around the teenage years, every, like, every kid tries it. Yeah. You, 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 like, you might find a, a, a bench at a friend's house, you get under it, or you see yeah. a dumbbell, you pick it up, see how it feels. I did that, and for me, I was like, I remember just curling and going, this feels great. Yeah. This feels fantastic. And I literally adopted it just from that. It was just, I enjoyed how it felt, you know? So I was like, I want to keep feeling these endorphins. I, I, I love this feeling. So, mm -hmm. you know, obviously back then there was no Instagram, there's no socials, you know, Nothing. and then just trying to learn, but still training at home. You know, and I, and I trained at home for like six, seven years. Wow. Yeah, before I even entered the gym. So it was just learning what I could and practicing at home, you know, and then, yeah, you know, made it all the way here. Yeah. <laughs> for me, that uh, deadlift was my first love. Okay. I, wow. I, still I didn't did... discover deadlifts for years. Like, I think, I think it, it was probably almost, almost 10 years before wow. I got deadlifts involved. Because I remember one, because obviously training at home, I wasn't deadlifting. I, but course. when I got to the gym, yeah. I remember seeing deadlifts and thinking, that's something you need to get right. You don't just go pick up a, 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 a barbell. And I remember um, seeing the guys that were deadlifting, they were had some so, beasts, they, yeah, had, they, yeah. they were doing seven. There's one guy who was doing eight plates in that gym. And I thought, if I want to do that, I need guidance. And then eventually got the technique and then yeah, yeah. deadlifts was, was my thing as well. And I don't know if you have the same thought process, being that you've done 20 years. We did it. We did it, yeah. It's, it's like, you've done it. It's yeah. like, it's fine. You don't, you're not going to be able to, or you don't have to keep smashing your body the way that you used to. You did it. Yeah. You put the groundwork in, you built the foundations, yeah. you're good. Because sometimes you have to tell yourself that. Because deadlifts for, my, for me, I used to go so ham. And I know the feeling, that the, 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 the satisfaction when you come out of a... Yeah, you know, it's just... And it's, it was the same with like, when you come out of a, a, a big squat. You know, yeah, but, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but at the end of the day, you've done it. Like, yeah. and, and, and luckily, you probably have it as well. We have the record as well. You know, yeah. there's, there's, we don't, there's, have, the, to do don't have to do it anymore because it's there. Yeah. tell you this that you might find this funny I didn't realize that Instagram was a network that you post to I thought it was an app that edited pictures so I remember editing like a, a picture of like food on my office when I was doing my nine to five that I posted to change the color or something and I didn't know anyone was seeing that I just thought this is just an app to change <laughs> and I think someone commented and I'm like why are people commenting on my, <laughs> on my, my thing and then I realized but no I used to use Instagram just to post like when I was doing my nine to five, just me in the office yeah. or some food that I had, you know, just silly things like that. And then um, the, the social media side of it, in terms of like posting uh, about my training started when, when did I start? I think I'd been a PT for like four years. I'd left that. And then um, I created like blog posts on training. Yeah. And then, yeah, that, and I, put, I first posted those on Twitter, like links to them. Yeah. Got a mad reaction from it. I was like, oh, wow, okay, this is a, uh, let me just yeah, start posting yeah. my training. Let me share on Instagram. So I started uh -huh. doing long captions, explaining different stuff about training. And yeah, the growth went exponential. Uh, food has always been a huge part of my family. I have one sister that is amazing on baking. No, two actually. Yeah. And then one that is a, a chef. Oh, wow, uh, yeah. And she took me into the restaurant business when I was also like 13, 14. Yeah, yeah. And that's 
kind of where I started to work like really hard and not a nine to five because yeah. that's not the restaurant business. Yeah, of but course not. Yeah. So we started to pick up a foodies yeah. and yeah. for every single week that we have been living in the yeah. US yeah. is since 19. Yeah. Have we done a video where we review food, foods? Oh, dope! Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. are really into donuts and brownies. <laughs> but He's not into donuts. <laughs> no, I mean, like, shit, man. And we are. This is like the capital of donuts in the world. Do you know what? Why are you on the donut subject? Where's the best place that you've had your donuts? And what would you like? Another place that you'd recommend? Ooh, so first of all, we have to conclude what kind of donuts we're talking about because there's cake donuts, yeah. then there's cronuts, and then there's donuts, <laughs> it mom and level. pop. So Let's like this, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot just mention one freaking thing. <laughs> See me no. There's like, levels to it. What kind of donuts it. are you talking about? Like <laughs> <laughs> Colorado Donuts is my favorite mom and pop shop. I love it. It's up in Eagle Rock. Absolutely love, love, love. And what them. is it you love about it? They are not too big and they are just perfectly sweetened and they have such a variety. Okay. And they are very friendly stuff. So okay. I would say Colorado Donuts yeah. is my number one pick, but I also love SKs in La Brea and okay. I love Sidecar for cake donuts. Okay. So those are yeah. my top three things that I always recommend for other people. Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, Blue Star. Do you like Blue Star? Have you had no. Blue Star? Yes, I have had and I do not like. Oh my God! <laughs> now tell us, this is why I, I, <laughs> I asked specifically what is it you like about, because I can tell you what I like. Yeah. But I can't put my finger on it, but I know the difference. Yeah. It doesn't taste like a regular donut. There's a there's a No, that's texture a fancy. Thing. Yeah. There's a texture to mm -hmm. it that's different to a regular, like soft, chewy donut. Yeah. It's this, and I love that texture. I love yeah. the little crisp, the crisp mm. outlay, outside bit. Like, the, yeah. For the fancy that they perceive to be, yeah. I don't find that they have the flavors to back that up. Sorry, quickly, what, do you know what's funny? If people are watching this for training and now they're probably Googling donuts. <laughs> and now they're, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now they're <laughs> And they're, they're like, like, okay, so, like, so the difference- What donut was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so trust me, they're also gonna see the difference between you and I. Mm. I, I will be the greasy one that just <laughs> eats like a shit ton of sugar and mm. you'll be like, no, I want the fancy stuff. No, it's not even just that. Like, I, I don't know what it is because I've had I, 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 obviously, I haven't had as many as you, but I've tried different ones, and for some reason, those ones just they're, they're cut above for me. And it's probably the, the thing that I like that you don't like the fact that they have that different taste to regular yeah, donuts. But I, I find that that's almost what I can get a sidecar. Depending <laughs> you on knew my that mood. I was opening up a Pandora's box <laughs> yep. when I asked what donuts. <laughs>
his competitions and everything, man. So, yeah, yeah he was my guy. That's but that's why I know Magnus Samuelsson, all, all of it. I used to yeah, follow yeah, it, kind yeah. of, yeah. you know, so, yeah. Ashley Horner, and okay. I have had the possibility to sit down with dinner yeah. Yeah. with her, yeah. which is really freaking that's a, cool. That's awesome, yeah, yeah. And, like, just these very strong, empowered women, yeah. that's just, like, yeah. literally badasses. <laughs> they are just, like, they're mothers, and they yeah. are, like, so relentless. Yeah. They, I don't know, it's just something about women like that. Yeah. Oh, yes. dope. Love that.
Nice work, man. Ah. It'll be a nice big set, man. Mm. Failure, don't count the reps. Just when you die, you die.
double dip. Yes. Come on. You gave me a horrible drop set. This is how you play. We can add weighted press into that in as well. <laughs> We're just person. Let's go, Simeon. Come on. Come on, let's go. It's supposed to hurt now. Let's go. More, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. One more. Good. I'm hot, yeah. Let's go. Sadly serious. You know what's funny? She put her hand, hands on her head exactly the same point I did. <laughs> that's Always it, trying to keep up. That's when it hurt. That's when it hurt. But this actually made it worse, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, soldier. One more, mm. one more. Now I gotta get to the white. All right, let's go. Oh, oh city. Absolutely fantastic. Listen guys, like I knew that the leg session was gonna be dope, but yeah, it lived up to it, man. It, 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 it I freaking feel fantastic. That was a great freaking session, man. I'm super yeah. happy. Yeah, and I, I'm glad we finished on this. And I'm, I, although I was thinking, what, double? Like, I'm glad you made us do that, because yeah. now I feel completely finished, man. Yeah, the, yeah. the quads are <laughs> The quads are quitting. I feel my butt is hurting. <laughs> my hamstrings are in the game too, Good. so I think Good. we got an overall. Yeah, and I got hamstrings again on Sunday, so you know they'll get the real work then yeah. as well. Me so, too. Yeah, yeah. I have back yeah. and hamstrings on Sunday. Yeah. Or it's Saturday, depending yeah. on how I recover now. Yeah. But I also have one glute session to do before that, so. Talk to me quickly before we wrap up, what the glute session, how it differs from your, like, like your quads. For example, a lot of body, male bodybuilders, we don't know glute sessions, really. I know. So talk to me, let me know. So what I do, I mean, I do still get a lot of glutes in yeah. the other two sessions. Of course. But glutes are a really massive muscle yeah. that you want yeah, to build. Huge, and if yeah. you're having, like for me, glute has been the hardest part to build, like okay. the hardest body part. Yeah. And I really want to target it. Yeah. So like a glute centered would be a lot of abductors, a lot of like making sure to really engage them. A, a lot of unilateral movements like Bulgarians mm. with a very tilt. tilted. Yeah, 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 tilt, yeah. that uh, makes sense, yeah. Or different side, like loaded in different ways, yeah. uh, unilateral leg presses. Yeah. yeah. Everything where I feel like I engage my glutes yeah. prior to engaging quads. So that's pretty much. And also like RDLs yeah. takes your hamstring, but also of course, a lot of but glutes. your glutes as well. Yeah. Uh, so okay. and hip thrust. Okay. Like the glutes mm. session is mm. a lot. <laughs> I mean, a lot of hip thrust. <laughs> yeah. A lot of different tempo settings yeah. and stuff. You have to really fire those. So you guys train together. Do you go in on the glutes as well? I do. Yeah, he is nice. the glute man. And have you found that? <laughs> and have you found that the the glutes, like the, the the time that you've spent on glutes, adds to your strength overall it with helps legs? A lot. I thought so. All the like hacks, yeah. the squat movements, yeah. the squat movements, it helps a lot. Yeah. For strength. Awesome, man. Sure. Because again, it's the like it's such a big muscle group, mm. and it empowers you and everything. Even mm. in sprints, mm. like mm. everything that you do, mm. if you have a good working glutes. Yeah. Good set of, I cannot speak, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I got it, I got it. No, basically, if you've got strong glutes, it's gonna just add to every uh, leg exercise and yeah. just uh, in general power movements with your legs, yeah. like sprinting, etc. And P.S., all the guys out there, it's really nice for us to give it a nice center of glutes. Just saying, so if you are slacking on the glutes, what are you doing? We think that it's really, really attractive. We'll, we'll, take, okay? we'll take that into consideration. Yes, we should. It's Wicked, just, man. Because good, good freaking legs, so script. There you go. So. Guys, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Ida's channel. It's right here. You see it? It's right there. All right. See it? Peace out. Bye, guys. Peace out. Oh, you have to say, ha the best. What is it? Ha. Ha. Dit. Dit. Best. Best. Let me say it properly. Ha the best. Yes. Ha the best. <laughs>